Welcome to Question Time. I'm Omkar Goswami. What do good, obedient Marwari girls do? They either get married or if they're a little bit more adventurous, dabble in the family business. And what do bad Marwari girls do? They grin from year to year, cook with gusto, open Italian restaurants, keep excellent wine cellars in their restaurants, and even anchor cooking shows on television. Meet Ritu Dalmia, bad Marwari girl, chef extraordinaire, and the owner of Diva, probably Delhi's favorite independent Italian restaurant. You called bad me Marwari a girl. bad Marwari girl. I think Welcome I'm, to the show. Show me the door out. I'm <laughs> leaving right away. 11th Standard, you joined the family marble cutting business. That's right. Tell us about it. Uh, well, I was always in a great hurry to do everything. That's my problem. And uh, I think I like to play this role of this businesswoman right since I was a kid. And my father wasn't too well. He had a heart attack when I was in the 10th grade. Which, you you know, in Calcutta? No, I was born in Calcutta. I still like to call myself a Calcutan because yeah. I think it sounds very cool. Yeah. But I moved to Delhi when I was seven years old. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether you call me a Calcutan or a Delhiite. Delhiite. Delhiite? No, no Calcutan. No, hey, go, on, go, on with, go on with you. <laughs> so I just, I don't know, it just happened. I always thought I wanted a big business empire, wanted to go to Wharton Business School like good Marwari people do. Not so much now, but... Uh, I just, I just fell into it. I used to go to my father's office after school just to show how cool I was to my friends. I'm going to office, etc., etc. Plus, all Marwaris have this serious goody-goody uh, hangover. They need to prove all the time how good they are, which means they should not have fun. They should start working as soon as possible, work as late as... So it's true. Yes, if you it look is. At it, it is. It, it's unfortunate, but it's true. So I got out of the trap very early in my life, so I'm very lucky about it. But at that point, all I wanted to do was prove what a good girl I am. So, and so you were a good girl, and from class and 11... And then I turned bad. From class 11 yes. till you were 22, you were absolutely, completely involved in your dad's marble cutting business, yes. right? Which is the reason why I'm cooking Italian food today. Explain that. You see, uh, marble at that time was very much and even now is related to Italy. All the cutting machines, all the tools, equipment are all imported After all, the from best marbles was Carrara abs marble Absolutely, from Italy. absolutely. So at that point, my father was setting up a new granite project for which I was put in charge. He had a lot of faith in me, it seems. But uh, I was sent to Italy to buy the machines and to just learn a bit more about the granite business. And this must have been the northern part of Italy. Well, well... I would say all over. Sicily was also one of the points. But yes, the machinery was all near Carrara, as you mm. rightly said. Carrara is the biggest point. So I was in a place called Porto Venere, Portofino, Liguria. And I mean, I feel very bad for him and I feel very guilty about it now. Instead of learning anything about the business, rather than doing any purchasing, all I was doing was eating out every night, expensing it. Had my first taste of Tignanello at that point. Tasted the best food at the best restaurants all in name of entertaining. I still did not think that this is what I wanted to do. I was always cooking. Cooking was always a hobby for me and it had nothing to do with marble business or Italy. I was cooking since I was nine or ten, whatever it may be. But later I had a little bit of money in my pocket and I thought I had arrived in life and that point that money seemed so much that it sounded again very cool to say and, I'm going to retire. And you decided at that time that you are going to be in cooking, you will do largely Italian food and you will open a restaurant and I remember it. The restaurant you that you opened, not at your opening, but I've been to your restaurant, yeah. Mezzaluna, That's right. in Horskar's village. That's right. But you must have been one of the very few clients who ate there. But it didn't work. It didn't work. Uh, you know, Tughlaq bin Shah, you know, always before your time. Uh, you think 93, 94, Delhi was ready for Italian food? It was not. Also, everything was against me. The location, the laws. That time, we couldn't get a health license. Alcohol license, out of question. Uh, rentals, what could I afford? Horskas village, which at that point, again, I said, we're going to create a Soho, little tucked away village, place for food. And most important, there was no concept of standalone restaurant. Chuba.com.